Welcome to episode 27 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today we're going to talk about no matter what you do, no matter how you feel, no matter how it looks, just don't quit ever. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So let me tell you, I have had a week. This has been one of the most challenging weeks I can remember in a very, very, very long time between things, some things going on um, at work and in the office and some things going on at home and some things going on like this morning when I woke up and I usually, I usually wake up and I take a little time and I I get up at like, I don't know, I'm at 5.15 has been my time lately. And I get up at 5.15 and then I make breakfast. I make coffee, French press, fresh ground every morning. That's how I roll. Um, and then I spend a couple of hours um, just doing a morning routine. I build out a show. I get introspective for a little bit and it kind of gets me going and rolling through the day. Now I've had a tough week. So this morning, you know, I was like, uh, I got to really lean in. I got to do this time this morning. I'm, st I'm leaving this weekend. Uh, I'm going to speak at a dealer convention. The whole family's coming with me. So, you know, that whole prep before you leave for vacation is in full effect. And I'm ready to like lean in and start my day. Already been a hard week, remember. And what do I hear? I hear little Jaden in his room crying. And sometimes he'll wake up and then go back to sleep. So I'm like waiting. I'm like, please go back to sleep. Because at 5.15 in the morning when he's up, that means that I'm up and that means that I can't stop and do anything else about it, right? It's just all of a sudden he is a part of the mix and he is in the mix. So he wakes up and I wait to see. He doesn't stop crying. So like, okay, that's not happening. Um, I go to get in his room and I, I go to push it and I really see sitting right next to the door because probably what happened was he got out of his bed and he fell asleep and he woke up in front of the door, which is why he was grumpy because his neck probably hurt or something. But he's only two. So uh, I went in and I picked him up and he was ready to go. I went in to say, like, maybe I can get him to lay back down. And you know, you know, if you're a parent, you know. Like, you try to get your kid to go back to sleep. You're like, oh, maybe they'll, they'll go back down. But he looks at me and he does this. He just smiles. And you can see his cute little dimple pop out. And I was like, not going back to bed, are you? All right, so now my quiet morning time where I get some work done and stuff, that, that, that's not going to happen. So I scoop him up go downstairs. He's not hungry. We try to see maybe he wants to watch Wreck-It Ralph on TV or Coco Melon or something like that. He's not really interested in that either. He's actually interested in just walking around because he's up with dad and there's nobody else around. So hard week, lots going on. Vacation, not vacation, but a, a trip slash vacation coming up. Got to get a lot done. And here he is. Okay. All right, Jaden. Got to take care of Jaden. Do that. And then I'm trying to wrap up because slower, a little bit behind because I was also taking care of Jaden. 6.30 rolls around, 7 o'clock rolls around, 7.15 rolls around, and 7.30 is usually the time that I leave. My son Miles gets up. He's been editing videos. It's summer break. He's 15. And so he's ready to go. And he goes, Dad, my carpet is soaking wet in the basement. Oh, if you're a homeowner, you know, like, things happen when you have houses. But there's nothing worse then water, water. There's water in the basement. We just put new carpet down there. Now I'm like, oh no, is there a foundation issue? Did Is it coming in through the window? Is it coming through the walls? Is there gonna be mold? And like all these things are going through my head. Now we did have a torrential downpour, like real bad in Syracuse. So like, I understand that maybe it just came in. So I'm down there now, I'm getting the shop vac out. I'm getting the fans out. I'm grabbing my pliers so I can pull up the carpet and see what's going on. I'm down there, I'm sweating, vacuuming up water, I'm doing all this. Then I get a call from a longtime coworker, good friend, Peter Schultz. He's been with me in business for getting close to 20 years now. And when Peter calls me at 7.30, it's not to say, hey, I just wanted to let you know that I hope you have a really great Friday. You've been doing a really great job, and I just want to let you know that, right? They're not the kind of calls that people give you in the morning. And when Peter calls, I'm like, something's wrong. So what's going on? He said, are you on your way in? That's a bad question to ask. Well, apparently, the rain that we got also affected our new studio. A bunch of water came in under the doors because the drains got overrun. So I'm coming in, I'm driving in, and I'm wearing this shirt today. You may have seen it if you, you watch the show. It's, it's a Nike shirt and it says, just don't quit on it. And you know, some words are crossed out. So it says, just do it, right? You see, if you're looking at it, you see what I mean. If you're not, write it down in front of you. You'll see how it works. 
And I said to Miles, I was like, I think I picked the right shirt to wear last night. You know, and we just talked about, um, we talked about all the things that are going on and all the heaviness that's going on. And, and then this on top of it, and then Jaden waking up and then the water coming in the house and then the water coming in the shop and, and so on and so forth. And I really thought in that moment, like, this is a really great opportunity to connect with my 15 year old son who I'm, you know, I'm mentoring into being a man, right? I want him to, to grow up and understand how you handle conflict. I want him to understand how you handle it when you keep taking hits because that's what it is to be a mature adult in life. That's what it is to be a leader. That's what it is to be going in a direction. You're constantly going to take knocks, right, that want to push you off the path, not that even want to push you off the path, right? That's just what it is to walk through life. You have things happen that are tough. You have things happen that are difficult. You cannot control any of those things, but you can control how you react to them. And so I, I you know, I, I told him we were pulling out of the house and he was like, man, dad, all this, all this. And I was like, you know, I can only control my attitude right now. I can only control my attitude. So I'm going to, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to fight the fight and I'm going to keep it, keep it like that. And so I want to encourage you today to not quit. I know without a doubt, there are some folks out there listening to this podcast or watching this content that are thinking about things in their life and you're thinking, you know what, like maybe I can't do that. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I don't have what it takes. Maybe this isn't worth it. And sometimes, maybe some of those things are true. Maybe you don't have what it takes. Maybe it isn't worth it and you have to stop doing something. So I'm not saying don't quit as in never stop doing something, but I'm saying don't give up the fight. Don't fall back and relinquish into the difficulty and the challenges because you get to choose your attitude and mentality because you get to decide what you're going to do with all of the things that life hands at you. And I'm just encouraging you right now to recommit yourself to making things and the people around you better, to being someone that they can lean on and that will support them in the midst of challenge, in the midst of hurt, in the midst of things that want to you know, throw you off the path because that's never not going to be the case. You'll have seasons where things are easier, but you're gonna have seasons when things are hard, regardless, all the time. So my encouragement to you this week is also something that I'm encouraging myself with and my son with and anyone else within earshot. Just don't quit ever. Don't quit ever. And if you're having a hard time with that, reach out to somebody else. If you're having a hard time with that, send me a DM. Because not quitting, because moving forward, because keeping those traits in your mind aligned, right? I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to serve others. I'm going to check my attitude and realize that a crappy attitude doesn't make it any better. Because I guarantee you there are people depending on you that you know, and there are people depending on you that you don't know. And when you push through it, guess what? It feels really good to know that about your character and to know that about yourself. Thanks for being here with me. I'm not quitting. And I will see you next week. We came to fight.